Alright, I wanted to show you all how I've made a buddy box for my Free Sky Tran SX9D. This is a trainer uh, buddy box, some people call it, um, to help people learn how to fly for, for my six year old. Um, and so what I've done is I've got a Hobby King HK T6A, very inexpensive transmitter. I have hard hardwired, soldered in a standard audio jack. This is just um, off of an old set of uh, headphones that I cut off, uh, the strip the wires back so I can solder it in to this transmitter. I'll show you a little bit more about that. And I've been able to use my same smart DS202 oscilloscope um, to detect some of the signals just to make sure I've got the right uh, got got the right wires in the right places and that kind of thing. It's, it's worked out real well. It's uh, the the trainer seems to work very well. When you use a standard audio jack like this for signals, um, these these audio cords, headphone cords, actually have four different wires in uh, in this in this bundle here. So in each of these two cords, there's a signal wire and a ground wire that should be just just a copper unshielded wire that's inside each one of those and so the the trick is I uh, gotta just make sure that you've got the right signal line um, before you start hooking it up to your buddy box and so what I, what I've done here is um, start out with this headphone jack I plugged it in the Tyrannus and and tested each one of the different wires after I stripped them to see which one had the signal on it. And um, using this uh, DS202, it it really kind of helped out to find the right signal wire. Um, and if uh, you don't have to necessarily use an oscilloscope, you can probably it's probably going to be the only wire that's got positive five volts on it. So if you can find that one, you'll be fine. Um, when you find the right signal, uh, you're going to see something something like that. You can see the the pulse position modulation there that uh, the signal that it's uh, spitting out. Now to find the signal initially um, to make sure I had the right wire, what I did was I plugged it in, of course, like I mentioned. And I had to set up the Tyrannus as a slave unit, so that it's actually putting out a signal um, into the wire. And so that's when I tested each one to figure out, because uh, when you've got audio jack, there may be more. This one, of course, there's just a ground um, a left and a right, and uh, for the for the Tyrannus, I believe it's uh, the, the tip that the signal comes in on. When you get ready to solder the wires in your Hobby King transmitter or whatever transmitter you're using, you're going to take the screws off of the back, um, go in and this is a picture of the trainer port that's in the back of the transmitter. This is not screwed in or anything. You just have to uh, just it just comes right out, and you solder your headphone wire. You can see my headphone wire coming in, and then I've got the signal wire that's a small red wire that I've soldered on that pad, and then the ground wire that I soldered on the other pad. If you're interested in buying any of these products in the video, please check out the links in the description to the Amazon items. If you use these links, it helps me out because I get some credit when people uh, use these links to buy things. If you're interested in learning more about what the DS202 oscilloscope does, um, there's an excellent video. I'll link to that one also. And I'll also link to another video where um, since I have a chance, I'm going to go through and do a tutorial on kind of what all the settings are on the DS202. If you feel like this video helped you out, please help me by contributing to my project fund. Thanks.